So folks, Paul Schrader went to see the movie. Now Paul being the script writer of the beautiful, flawless 1976 Martin Scorsese's Tabby, just forget about this, it's nothing. Taxi Driver. Which the 2019's film Joker was heavily inspired by. While both films varied in ideas, with both films being pretty similar in their portrayal of a character we should all feel sympathy for, with obviously a few differences, the Joker being more a misunderstood, likable character in a flawed society. Is it getting crazier out there? While Travis being a more isolated character, but you kind of learn his flaws as a human. You just gonna leave? Yeah, they got plenty of other girls. Well, anyway, Paul Schrader discussed his experience in theater watching the Joker sequel, 2024's Joker Folie Adieu, and Paul only lasted around 20 minutes before deciding he could not take it any longer. Paul saying to Interview Magazine, I saw about 10 or 15 minutes of it. I left, bought something, came back, saw another 10 minutes, that was enough. He went on to call the sequel a really bad music. Musical. I don't like either of those people, he added, talking about Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga. Let's give the people what they want. Woo! Paul saying, I don't like them as actors. I don't like them as characters. I don't like the whole thing. I mean, those people who, if they came to your house, you'd slip out the back door. <laughs> God. Ooh, this guy does not hold back. And I mean, unfortunately, Paul isn't really throwing out a hot take here either. As the anticipation for Folie Ado was like up here, following the success of the 2019 film Joker, which earned a billion dollars at the worldwide box office, and even won Joaquin an Oscar for Best Actor. Joaquin Phoenix Joker. <laughs> The sequel being met very quickly with negative reviews after the premiere. The tomato meter not looking too high for this one with a 32% across the board. The film opening up with 37 million at the domestic box office. Variety reporting the sequel is likely to end its theatrical run with around 210 million worldwide. 2019's Joker making 248 million on its first three days. <laughs> the film's going to lose between 150 and 200 million. Ugh. That one stings. So yeah, honestly, I'm always optimistic with movies. I went in with high hopes, as I usually do, even knowing in the back of my mind, like we didn't really need a sequel. Of course, I wasn't the biggest fan of the first Joker. Like it was good, but it was a little slow at times, but I thought it encapsulated the story perfectly, like from beginning to end. And it was awesome as a standalone movie about Arthur, but I, I didn't really know what else they would do with Joker too. But anyway, let me know if you guys agree with Paul. I thought he was a bit harsh here to some fellow people in the same industry as him. But yeah, let me know. Ta-ta for now.